Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Build a Mission with Overkill. So today we are going to continue sort of the usage of our templates. Um, I've opened up a brand new mission. This is my test mission I was telling you about that I leave always blank. And we're going to set up a practice zone that I like to use. And it's going to be right over here next to Cobaletti and it's this X right here. X marks the spot. So we're going to set up some things to um, attack attack when we're just practicing okay we're gonna set them up so that way they don't shoot back they don't disperse under fire all that good stuff so let's go ahead and get started here now this is going to be a practice area for blue four so we're gonna set up our ground units here the tank indicates ground units we're gonna change the coalition to um, USSR huh. oh that's right never mind this is different okay and then we're going to go with uh, test range and I typically just put X that way I know where it's at right now what armament you pick is up to you I like to go with the unarmed objects because I want to be able to destroy it with anything okay whether I want to be using gun runs or let's say you want to use the helicopter you want to practice just attacking things with a helicopter and using the machine guns well there's only so much that it can take out right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drop a group here all right and you can come here to the loadout menu that's what this icon is here and see what it is so let's go ahead and see what our options are here these are all unarmed ground units uh, let's see what do we want what's this guy that's old status i don't know how that's in ussr that's american but all right Uh, we don't want that one. There we go. Let's use this one here. That works well. We should be able to take that out with just about anything. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of follow the line here. Kind of like this. Kind of wish that we had those little fine-tuning ones here. And then what I like to do is we're going to add a unit. And then I just sort of put it where it goes just to keep the spacing the same. Add a unit, flip it over, I'll typically do five, add it over, and add it over, okay, and let's see how far that takes us, yeah, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. First, we want to make sure they don't go anywhere, so we're going to come down here to the special waypoint units, starting waypoint, and we're going to go here and set option, rules of engagement, we're going to do weapon hold. And you can do this for anything. Like I said, you want to make sure you set these for any of your tanks and things like that. If you don't want them shooting back and you don't want them to run when one of them's hit. Okay. Disperse under fire. This is what's, this is the one that's going to make them run away and spread out if one of them gets hit or destroyed. And we're just going to uncheck that. So disperse under fire equals off. So rules of engagement, weapon hold. It means they will not shoot. And disperse under fire means they won't run when they are hit. So that's all we need there. So now we can create our second units okay all right and then now we're gonna have to do the same thing over here so we can go ahead and just copy here if we want and then I'm gonna do is three and I'm gonna bring this back down to one unit put it back on the line drag it back over like we did and then same principle rinse and repeat and so this is going to be actually group five right and we're going to move it over move it over move it over and we're going to have to move the whole group forward um move it over eh, maybe not that's close enough right and then we'll copy this group instead so copy there we go, bring it over here again, control C to copy, control Victor to paste. And I feel like I might have named one of these wrong, so I'm double checking these real quick. Oh, that's what I thought. So that would be group four. Okay, and then same thing up here. So we'll come up here and control Victor. And we don't care which way they're facing up here. So this is gonna be group seven. Oh, did it again. Damn it. Helps when you click the mouse into the field. There we go. And this is group eight. Okay. 
So, there we go. Let's do a quick cycle, make sure all the names are correct. Two, seven, eight, three, four. Oh, that one is wrong. That should be six. Okay, and like for example, these guys I won't, I don't typically mess with the unit name. All right, so now let's do our static save. So we're gonna go edit, save static template, and we're gonna call this X practice range unarmed. In case you ever decide to create something that will shoot back, Okay, and then we'll go back to our mission, and so check this out. We're going to load a template, and bam, there they are, and we still have our carrier group. Okay, so this makes it a lot easier to set things up when you're spying things out. All right, so there's a practice range. Now, let's go ahead and hit save. And you can just hit the save disk up here too. And let's go back to our test mission. Okay, so now let's look at, so we have Cobaletti, right, as our training field. Well, so let's, let's set some stuff down at Cobaletti. Start sending some aircraft down. So there's two ways that you guys can think about when you're doing this stuff. So first off, you want to plan out, well, what is this area's purpose? All right, this is a training area, right? This is where guys can just go up, practice bombing some things. We're close enough to the carrier. Remember, our carrier's out here near Batumi. We're close enough to the carrier. They can fly out to the carrier and do traps if they want. Okay, so you want to think about things like that. So in our situation, and the reason why I'm saying you want to think about that is you want to think about loadouts. Are you going to start them with automatic loadouts or let your pilots load their own aircraft, let you load your own aircraft? Uh, tankers, do you need a tanker in the area? Okay, we'll put a couple tankers up later on. Um, static aircraft, you know, decoration again. Um, and then waypoints, you know, are you going to add waypoints or because it's a training area, do you want all the waypoints on the aircraft to be empty? And you'll add waypoints to the more combat um, live areas, right? So in this situation, we're just doing training. So we're just going to lay some aircraft down, maybe some static, you know, make it look kind of cool, set up our uh, liveries and stuff. So let's do that. So I'm going to start down here at parking one and let's bring in the F-18s. So I bring, I break mine down by our squadron's um, identifiers. So VMFA 286. And what you can do, if you're going to have multiple groups, so I have 12 pilots in VM, VMFA 11, 12, something like that, in 286. So I can only have four aircraft to a group. So what we're going to do, I'll show you guys, to keep it from doing that hashtag 001, I'll show you guys how to fix that here in a minute. So we're going to come down here. We're going to find our F-18C lot 20. There it is. And we're going to make sure it goes to client, okay? And even if you're doing your own single-player mission, and you're gonna have multiple aircraft down that you'd like to fly, set them to client, don't set them to player. Okay, so we're gonna set it to client. And I'm gonna call this one, um, this is just, I'm gonna go by the board numbers. So in our case, it's 400, and we're gonna do the same thing here, 400. And you know what, actually, I'm probably gonna have to redo that once I set the aircraft down. So we're gonna drop it here. Yeah, we have to change the tail number again. And I want the aircraft to take off completely dark, right? So it's all powered off, nothing's on it. So you have flyover point and turning point. Turning point indicates it's a waypoint at which you would make a turn. Flyover point is you're just gonna fly straight over it. Take off from runway, exactly what sounds like. The aircraft's gonna start hot and ready on the runway, so all you have to do is power up and go. Take off from ramp is going to be from where it is right now. It's gonna be taken off from a parking spot. The aircraft's gonna be completely dark. Okay, and then take off from parking hot. It's going to be in the parking spot where it is right now, but it's going to be powered up. Engines are on, ready to roll. And then landing will be designating this as a landing waypoint. Okay, and that will uh, reflect so in the HSI. So we want takeoff from ramp. We want to go completely cold and dark. All right, we're going to reset our board number here. Now we're going to come over here to the loadout menu, the payload. 
and payloads are set up here by the task so you have cap you know combat air patrol we're just sort of circling the area looking for um, enemy enemy aircraft AFAC basically you're spotting targets on the ground for somebody else anti-ship strike self-explanatory AWACS self-explanatory only certain aircraft can do AWACS I think this will be up the E2D or the E3 cast close air support so you're going to be want to be loaded for ground ordnance you know to protect the soldiers on the on the ground escort again self-explanatory fighter sweep self-explanatory you're going to be up searching for fighters ground attack intercept okay intercept is you know you're sitting on the ground and an aircraft has breached the airspace and is is a threat to the to the to the company right um, but watch the payloads when i switch to intercept boom okay and you can title these as easy as you want and we'll go over creating payloads later on but you can title them uh, differently you just want to make sure that you never title something the same that already exists in a different payload Okay, so for example, you can't have aim 9x times 2 in cap as well as an intercept. Now, I'll load them up with this one here, and then the, we as the pilots can change them out as wherever we want, but they just look cool with the aim 9s on them, honestly. So, I'm going to put it in there, and I have not added any extra aircraft to this group yet, because I want everything to mirror this aircraft, sort of. Now, I'm going to come down here and find my livery. And in this case, I'm going to be looking for the 286 high visibility. So there it is. Boom! There's the famous YouTube bird. Okay. And then we're going to go to aircraft 2. And we're going to change this to 401. For, oop, hello. 401. And I'm going to come here and find his aircraft. Okay. And then we're looking for 402, 402. And we're going to find his aircraft. And then we're going to look for 403. And that's going to be Vapor, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check. So this is actually going to be yep, Vapor. And then, so here, now it's time to create a second group. Okay. And so what we're going to do here is I'm going to copy them. So I'm going to hit Control-C. And, and actually, what I can do here, let's make, let's create another static. Yeah, let's make things a little bit easier for me. So we're going to hit edit. Save static template. And this is going to be, we have to name it. Remember, they're going to be in a specific location. Cobaletti. 286 and we're going to call this dash 1. That way I know it's the first group for 286. Again, I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste and boom. All right. So now or what we could do is we could do the entire lineup. So, let's do that. So, right now we have this static group for just the first four and you could do this for each corresponding group afterwards, but you would need to delete the preceding group right so if we wanted to have one for group two group three group four etc we need to delete everything else other than that one group otherwise that next group would be saved with all the aircraft and all the objects but we're going to make one with the entire lineup here for Cobaletti right so let's do control v because we already pasted it or we already created it and then remember I told you that we can get rid of this hashtag 001 so this is what I put VMFMA 286 and I put and I stopped right there all I'm gonna do is add a space and now it's a different group okay still set to client now we need to go through and change all the board numbers again so we're gonna come back in here okay And now, I'm not going to want this big old break here, so I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. We're going to copy this group here, Control-C, and we're going to do Control-V. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to move their parking spots over a little bit so that we can keep them all together. So we're going to go to 13, highlight this guy, see the yellow, it's sort of hard to see sometimes. Move this guy over to 12 and move this one over to 11 and move this one over to 10 boom okay now they're all together and again all I'm gonna do is highlight the hash hit a space okay and now we're gonna do again we have Bombay 
Oops. On 408. Oh, you know what? I put him on the wrong aircraft. Let's back up. Bombay. And then 409. We have Oz. Oops. And that's actually all we have active right now. So I'm going to bring that back down. The two aircraft. And you can see there it is. And so actually we're going to bring these guys over to 10 and 11. Because that changed things for me. And now let's create a new static file or edit. Excuse me. Save static template. 286 full. And then what I'll do is typically add the date. So this is as of 7. Oops. Or we'll just call it the infamy 286. Oh, I hit numlock, that's why. 0705. Okay, and hit create. And so now let's go ahead and go back to VCW 13. Like I said, this is a real pain in the butt the first time you do it, but after that, it gets cake. So let's go ahead and go edit again. Load static template. 286, July 5th. Load. And there's all of our aircraft. And if we click on them, they have their board numbers, they have the liveries, they have the loadout. Okay, makes it real simple. Okay, and then we just want to make sure that we click on Cobaletti. Okay, I'm clicking right on the name and change it to blue. Okay, we want to make sure it's supplied for the blue four aircraft. All right, so that is how you guys can create your different flights and um, your squadrons easily. Um, and be able to just repeat them. To, but again, I'm going to emphasize this because I don't want to be getting confused. It's specific to the, the map and it's specific to the location. So if I wanted to use this group in, for example, um, Sanaki, I couldn't do that. But in the next one, I'll show you guys a real cool trick on how you can create these very easily. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, stand by for the next one. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care.